Hello Virgo, welcome to your mid-July reading. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Virgo. What is up, everyone? We're gonna take a look at your energy coming into the reading challenges, recent past, what's on your mind, what's the good stuff, why is everything happening, what will you experience in the near future, how you see yourself, surprise, surprise, what's in your environment coming, your hopes and fears and the outcome. And of course, as always, we will clarify. If you still want to participate in the August 1st drawing, that's a free private reading, I am going to just randomly pick someone, but you gotta comment. You gotta comment below that you'd like to be part of the drawing. All right, let's see what's up. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you stopped by. And if you're returning, you know I love you. All right, let's check it out, Virgo. Coming into the reading, what's the energy? Uh-oh, wah, wah, wah. We got the 10 of wands. Feeling burdened. You got a 10 there, so it looks like something's about to complete a cycle, a situation. What's the influence or challenge? Ooh, who's this mf -er? We got the five of swords. Mom here never likes that energy. I don't like it. What's on your mind? Yeah, I don't blame you. Four of swords. It's like, can I get a minute card because of the five of swords? So that four swords on your mind is, I need a minute, I might need five minutes, hell, I might need five months. But it's all about recovery, rest, meditation, healing, maybe taking a break from this five of swords. What happened in the recent past? We have a little pesky spy with the page of swords. Who's that? Someone's looking in on someone. We've got a lot of swords here. So you might be connecting with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but... But, but, but those swords are also about you know communication, your mental energy. Why is everything happening? What's coming? Ugh, what the hell, Virgo? We've got the devil. This is supposed to be the good stuff in the foundation. We've got Capricorn, Major Arcana. Coming into the near future, what will you experience? Daddy, it's the Emperor, Aries energy. So if you're new to tarot, we've got two Major Arcana here. So there's 22 in the deck. And it's really kind of the universe saying, hey, Vir Virgo, what's up? I'm coming into play. I'm making a move. And you don't got a lot of free will. But each uh, major has a zodiac assigned to it. And this is Aries and this is Capricorn. All right. How do you see yourself? What are you up to? Another major arcana, the tower in reverse. Y'all are avoiding. And I mean, I don't blame you because we got this in the foundation. That devil is why everything's happening the rest of July toxicities, addictions, obsessions, temptations. Why do I feel like somebody's obsessed here? We've got somebody looking in on somebody, maybe on social media, doesn't have to be. But you know, that page of swords is like, let me just take that sword and see what the hell's going on. He likes to get online, he likes to uncover, you know, it's kind of like a little bit of a know-it-all. Somebody's watching and wondering and all that kind of stuff. So feeling stuck or feeling some sort of toxic energy with this devil. What's in your environment coming in that you don't see yet? My God, I'm not surprised. Like this reading is just spirits like, here, mom, just here's the story. Like it's all coming together. So the nine of swords, that nine of swords, you know, worry, headache, fear, anxiety, not sleeping at night. Some of you, it's your own father or it's a boss. It could be somebody that has, you know, some sort of higher position, authority position over you. I kind of feel like Virgo's bossing up though too with that emperor energy because we see you here on my, on your mind already is I need to kind of just pull away for a minute. What's going on in your hopes or fears? Yeah, the two of swords ignoring someone. Libra energy with that two of swords. Two is all about choices and decisions and that two of swords is maybe I was blindfolded in the past. I'm hoping I can take off the blindfold, make a decision and ignore this big fat devil. What's your outcome? What can you expect? The High Priestess. There's another major icon. We got Pisces showing up for the party now. So High Priestess. So I do feel with that High Priestess towards the end of the month, if not already, this is all about your intuition, right? It's really, really being spot on with your intuition about this stuck, toxic, negative, cheating, whatever this devil's bringing. And what you'll find in the outcome, because what you'll experience is you're bossing up. I think this is your energy. I think this is you putting your foot down, Virgo, and regaining control of a situation. 
and with that high priestess in the outcome it could be the again i feel like you're cutting someone off too like you're just going to remain really silent and shut off maybe they had a secret maybe they weren't opening up but i really feel that high priestess is just you taking on that that energy taking that action maybe you have pisces in your chart but it doesn't matter the outcome virgo is yeah i know some stuff but guess what i'm keeping quiet we don't know what's going on with her she's very poker faced she's very mysterious She's quiet. She's not saying a word because she already knows what she needs to know. All right. All right, Virgo. Let's see what is going on. We have that uh, July 30th on a Sunday. It's either the 30th or the 31st, y'all. Whatever that Sunday is, um, the end of July, a webinar. It'll be a two and a half hour webinar where we're going to learn tarot. The one last month went really well. There's still a couple spots available, so if you want to uh, participate, you can email me. My email is all over this damn channel. You'll find it, I promise, down below in the description box. And reach out and we will get you registered. You're gonna learn three or four different tarot spreads. We're gonna talk, we're gonna have a good time. We might even have Pop-Tarts and tequila. You never know. All right, y'all, let's check it. So Virgo, coming into the reading, you got the Ten of Wands. This is about to end. Like, whatever this heavy energy is, what's this Ten of Wands for Virgo coming in? And the star in reverse, sign of Aquarius. Yeah. So for me, that star in reverse is, I really thought I was manifesting something. This was my hope. This was my wish. This was my desire. Whether it's a work situation, whether it's a lover, whatever, even a friend right? But coming in, you're like, nope, it's backbreaking. It's too much pressure. It's heavy. I want to just close this is just, just out because I no longer have faith because look at, because look who's showing up here, the five of swords. I mean, who would have faith or, you know, in the situation? Remember, this is from now until the very, say like first week of August or so. And so if you're like, this isn't my story, it's not happening to me just be careful because you never know it could come in so also check out your moon or your rising sign too why is the five of swords influencing this energy because of the world that's our last major arcana so that is symbolizing we're done we've reached a goal we've gone as far as we can go been there done that it's time to open up something new and also too by the way with the world i've learned a lot of valuable lessons about Toxic people, cheating, stuck, abuse, whatever this is, feeling that kind of stuck energy. So because of that, and you no longer are going to have hope or faith that this can move forward, you're going to distance yourself, pull away. You wanted it at one point. And with that five of swords, this is somebody that's like, hey, it's all about me. Too bad. So sad. Sucks for you, doesn't it? So somebody's doing this to you. And again, it could be a work situation. It could be love, a family member, a friend, the Amazon delivery guy. I don't know. Maybe your packages weren't on time, Virgo, and they don't care. I don't know. But I do know you're putting an end to it with the world. What happened in the recent past? You've got the page of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There could have been an argument. Something may have been discovered and that page of swords is like, oh yeah? How you like these words? Because he's communicating. Yeah, with the Ace of Swords in reverse. A lie. In the recent past, somebody was kind of like pesky and, you know, and also maybe somebody discovered something through gossip, word of mouth, maybe even online. And it was about a big fat lie. Ace of Swords in reverse. And you're not taking prisoners, Virgo. It feels like you're just, okay, up and moving. I wouldn't be surprised though if you have a few kind of last minute words for whatever or whomever this is. Why is the Four Swords on your mind? Because of the lovers, Gemini. Choices and decisions. You're being logical, especially with that Four Swords because you know, the Four Swords is logic, it's your mind. It's pulling away, it's resting, recovering, trying to heal, get over whatever this is. And it could, you know, the lovers is a partnership. It can be a partnership within work too, but it can also be a loving, like a lover, a partnership, you know, a loving relationship or somebody that you were really hoping it would manifest. Maybe somebody did cheat. I mean, you got the lovers, you got the devil here in the foundation. 
I wouldn't be, to me, it looks like Virgo, you guys not only block someone, call the water Uber, you also change your number. Why is the devil in the foundation and the empress? Libra, Taurus, Major Arcana. Who's she? Because she can be a court guard. Who's this empress? Some of you, it's your mother. You got uh, the hermit sign of Virgo. Some of you guys were talking to somebody, dating someone. It may have been more recent and they went back to an ex. I'm just saying, y'all. That's what happened here. But I don't see you, you know, drowning in your sorrows. You're only going to need one salt bath, not three. You know, it's like you're picking it up and moving on. Somebody went back to somebody, it feels like. And also, I think a lot of you are like, you know what? <laughs> this shit's toxic. I've already gone within. I know everything I need to know because I discovered something here in the recent past. That hermit's coming back to the land of the living. You're loving yourself. Boom, moving forward. We've got an empress and an emperor here. They can be husband, wife. They can be some sort of powerful kind of duo here. It's typically, you know, mom, dad, husband, wife. What's the emperor coming in? Ooh, king of swords, Aquarius energy. Damn. What does this emperor with the king of swords want? And the queen of cups. Some of you have cancer in your chart, maybe Pisces. This is, you're going to be using your intuition on this emperor, king of swords type energy. This could certainly be a boss, y'all. I'm just saying. And it can also be somebody who's married. And if you look at her, she's kind of side eyeing in this deck a little bit. You know, that cup is closed. She's like, oh, I got the love. But my intuition's telling me to keep that cup closed because I know exactly what's going on. Somebody may have just cut somebody off here too after something was revealed. Why do you see yourself as the tower in reverse? I mean, I don't blame you. Yeah, you're pissed. Knight of Swords. There was some aggression, some drama. Again, remember mom here, I said earlier, you may just tell someone to F off and then take off and block them. You're avoiding a situation that's a big fat disaster. This Knight of Swords is in pursuit of something. He's heading out. He's like, see you later. And he is the fastest moving knight. So he's on his way. In your environment coming in, you don't see Nine of Swords with the Page of Pentacles. What's this Page of Pentacles? Capricorn, typically. And the Knight of Pentacles. Could it definitely have to do with um, a friend owing you money, a family member owing you money, something like that. Somebody in your environment is stressing out because you're not playing this game anymore and they're going to ask to borrow money or they need something from you. Others of you in a relationship where somebody showed up as the devil, surprise, you're like, oh, I, hey, you looked fine the other day and now you look like the devil. They're bringing some sort of olive branch here. They're going to be slow because they don't know what to do. They're freaking out with the Nine of Swords. So I would expect some like, but, but, but it's not what you think. And Virgo's over here saying, oh, but it is because in my hopes or fears, I'm hoping to block this. Two of Swords and move forward with the Water Uber being called. So you've got there, that Cancerian energy there. Yeah, you guys are ignoring this person and you're just moving forward. And who could blame you? That um, chariot energy is really overcoming chaos and things that are out of control. You're in the driver's seat because with that chariot, you're pulling back on those reins. You're, you're slowing everything down. And we saw you're gonna be bossing up here, putting your foot down, setting boundaries. Damn, this is some strong, powerful energy. I like it. And with this Knight of Pentacles, that's you, Virgo energy. You've got this outcome you can expect here, this High Priestess. Why? Why is the High Priestess here? Your intuition is on point this month or the rest of the month. Six of Cups. Yeah, it could be a family situation. It could be a friend. The Six of Cups, of course, is the past. You're, it feels like Virgo is just shutting down anybody in the last like couple months. Hell, it could even been a year. Who knows? who's just brought this kind of selfish, manipulative energy. It could be a friend, y'all. I see you closing off. I see you, this is very much energy of they reach out to you and you're just like, you might text back and be like, new phone, who this? Who dis? Who dis? You know, or it's like, who? you know, kind of playing that game a little bit. Like, listen, we've all done it. And if we haven't, I highly recommend somebody who's done you dirty and then they reach out like six months later, you've deleted their number. So when they call or they, you know, they text, you have no idea who it is. But even if you do, you know, you text back, who is this? 
um, hi, I, I don't recognize the number. Who is this? It feels very much like that. Why is the, uh, can y'all tell I'm a Scorpio? Why is the High Priestess here in the outcome with the Six of Cups? The Fool, sign of Aries. You're on to a new beginning too. You're going to start, and I also feel like Virgo, because you're shutting down and you're kind of just having that like very like mysterious, closed off, also very spiritual energy with the Six of Cups and the Fool, this ends with you guys also nurturing yourselves, doing something new, taking a risk maybe calling up an old friend or people that you haven't seen for a while, maybe a past love too, you know, just to be like, hey, what's up? Like you get together with someone and because you're a, you, again, you're vibrating on a very high level and because of that, you're gonna end the month shutting it down, shutting yourself off, honing in on that intuition and then you finish the month with this kind of beautiful like effort energy. I'm gonna go do something for myself. I think I'm gonna call up Tina haven't spoken to her in a while. Hey, Tina, what's up? It's your girl. Let's go get margaritas. It's something like that. I think it's badass. I absolutely love this reading and I love you. So Virgo, that's your reading. If you are a member of the channel, I did not get you your reading last night, but it's coming tonight. So every week, if you're a member, you get a collective reading. Sometimes it's a pick a card. Sometimes it's just a collective reading. So that's coming tonight. And if you have not joined the channel, you can go to my home page there and join. You get all of the extended readings throughout the month as part of your membership. And you also get that weekly collective reading. All right, Virgo, I love you guys hard. Love me hard back. And we're going to speak soon. Take care.